We're going to continue looking at some useful standard chord progressions, and we're going to look at the contrapuntal embellishment of static harmony, or Kesh, type of progressions in a bit more detail here. Now, there's different ways you can use this, and I'm combining two different ways in this little 8-bar pattern. Again, it's all about hovering around one static harmony, but adding movement by voice leading. So in this case, at the beginning, we're moving either the bass note, the lowest note, or the top note in the voicing, or it could be an inner voice, but usually it's the top or bottom note that gives this progression the color. But we're moving from the root to the major seventh to the seventh to the sixth. So D to C sharp to C natural, which is the seventh, to B natural, which is the sixth. So we get that kind of stepwise movement, and we can either have it at the top or the bottom of the voicing. And I've repeated that twice. And then gone to another variation that we looked at earlier where we have the voicing moving inside, not in the seventh, but inside the triad. D minor, the A moves up to a B flat and then up to a B natural and to a C natural. So two different ways of using cash and combining them together. So a nice way of adding some variety when you need to hover around one static minor chord. Let's move on to the next example. And here we have another kind of rock and roll type of three chord progression. But instead of one, four, five, we're going one flat seven, four, one flat seven, four. And you'll recall from two videos ago, we looked at using the cadences where we go four flat seven to one. And this is another variation of that we've inverted them and turned them around. Let's listen. And again, I varied the voicings throughout just to give you some different ideas of how it can possibly be voiced and how putting different notes of the triad in the top or the bottom gives it a subtle, different coloring. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is just a two-chord vamp. You'll recognize this from On Broadway, the famous George Benson tune and Drifter's tune. But it's a two-chord vamp, and you don't have to be limited to these two chords, but it works nicely. And we're just moving from 1 to flat 7, 1 to flat 7. And this is nice to use as maybe a verse, and then have it lead somewhere to a build-up to a nice climactic chorus. And there's all kinds of two chord vamps we could do. We can go C to D minor. Or just 2-5-2-5, two, five, two, five, D minor 7, G7 is another nice vamp. So all kinds of two chord vamps that can work. This is just one idea. Now, in the next example here, I'm using some bass notes, and I'm going to show you the same exact piano part after this with a different bass note and show you how it can really dramatically change the whole mood of it. Basically, what we're doing here is just hovering between tonic dominant, tonic dominant. What I'm doing is C major 7 and then F minor over G, which if you look at the notes, if you voice it as a G, it's working out to a G flat 9 sus chord. We've got the F, A flat, and C, the 7th, the flat 9th, and the fourth or 11th of the G. So it's a real nice, dark, colorful dominant chord. So it's C major 7 to F minor over G. Let's listen to this. So that F minor over G is a really nice, unique color. Let's move on, and I'm going to show you another progression here. We're going C major 7 to D minor 7 over C. So this is the same kind of idea, but you're going to see how this tonic pedal changes the mood. What we're alternating between here is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So if we think of that as a dominant, we're going 1 and then the 2 chord with the 1 in the bass functioning as the dominant. But because it has the tonic in the bass, it really has the feeling of sort of staying on 1. Like there's no tension, there's no release, you're just hovering around one, but with some nice movement. Let's listen. Let's 
a really nice two chord vamp where it's really staying in a nice home base kind of feeling and you can have a nice lyric and melody wandering on top of that all over the place really commanding the bulk of the attention although there is still some movement in the harmony now the next example i have the exact same piano part same tempo and same drum groove but the bass is changed and is playing a dominant pedal instead so this really changes the feeling we have the one chord but it's slightly unsettled because there's the five in the bass and then this chord really feels like a g7 sus we have the d f a c which is a real traditional kind of sus feeling we could easily have written f over g but the d minor seven gives it a bit of a unique color so let's listen to this So really different kind of feeling, even though it's the same chords, just with the bass notes changed. And another nice way to vary this progression or any of the ones we've looked at in these videos is to change the start position of the chords. Like here we're going one dominant, one dominant, but we can easily start on the dominant and go to the one. Here's what that might sound like. So that changes the flavor of it as well. And any of these will work by displacing the start points in the progression. So that's a little overview of some popular chord progressions that you can use as jumping off points. Of course, these aren't all there are. There's limitless possibilities, but hopefully this will get you started. See you for more in the next video.